Hello fam. All right, so today will be my first entry, my first log into, um, I guess, my skin rejuvenation. Yeah, that sounds like a good term to say right there, my skin re rejuvenation. Now, I'm quite sure you guys have watched, seen my videos and seen this, okay? Um, nothing I'm embarrassed about, nothing I'm ashamed about. It's something I've lived with ever since I was in the military. Um, I never had hair in my face before, even when I was in the military. Um, what, 17, 18 years old. Had a mustache, but never like a full beard or anything like that, what a lot of guys have. But in the military, we have to shave anyway, okay? Still had to shave regardless of... Um, uh, hair situation or lack thereof. So what it, what ended up happening with me was I found out the hard way that my skin was very sensitive. Um, after a while, I started getting these discolorations, black marks on my face and everything. Um, it just got worse and worse. And in the military, I ended up having a shaving profile. That means that I couldn't shave, all right? Um, but I still had to keep my my beard um, at a certain length, you know, I couldn't have no, I couldn't be walking around with a, a Rick Ross type beard, even though I couldn't grow it that long anyway, but it, you know, it's, it's, it would get kind of long, but I couldn't, you know, just have a full out beard in the military. So, but couldn't shave nonetheless. Okay. Um, but after a while, you know, it got itchy and when I did shave it off, I noticed, you know, more discoloration it was, it was it just got like eh whatever but it stopped me though okay believe it or not i used to be cute once upon once upon a time all right some would even say handsome <laughs> so i never had any issues with um females or anything like that you know right um a very confident guy okay so you know this really didn't stop me and it wasn't that bad back in the day, but it was there nonetheless. It seemed like, seemed like it got a little worse as I got older. So I said, you know what? Um, I looked at it, you know, my wife, she would point some stuff out. Well, you know, it could be from this, it could be from that, you know, cause I, you know, I got ingrown hairs a lot. So I would always be here tweezing and everything, blah, 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 right? So I, I decided that I was going to get like a um uh what's the thing called? I'm gonna get some stuff lasered, right? Get like this top layer lasered off and then work with it after that. Um but that kind of that got it's kind of pricey. So I said, well, you know what? Um I got insurance. Hopefully the insurance can cover it. No, wrong. <laughs> but um it's something that, you know, I could save up for, but, um, in the meantime, nobody really had a definite answer for me as to how I can keep this, you know, under control, right? How can, how can I keep these dark spots from getting, getting even darker and how to just make them go away until I just posted a vlog, my last vlog, my wife and I, me and my wife out and about, and, um, Grandfather Gotti made a comment and she was talking about my wife's skin. And I made a comment back to her saying, yeah, I wish my skin was like hers. Cause I know y'all getting tired of seeing my ugly mug. So she had a suggestion for me, um, something that helps her husband. And um, I'm like, you know what? Nobody in all these years has says, hey, try this or try that. You know, it was just, yeah, you might want to go get surgery. Not surgery, but you know, the um, procedure done. Um, so she was the, actually the first person that says, hey, try black soap out. And I've heard about black soap before, but you know, in the negative light, as far as it make dark skinned people, light skin and all kind of crap like that. But um, sorry about that. My wife came in and I had to get some kisses just now. I love the kissy face with the wife. Anyway, to make a long story short, um, she suggested to me, like I said before, the black soap and um, some fade cream. So instead of going on eBay like she suggested, 
there's like a beauty supply store, a bunch of them down the street from me. So I went to the store, grabbed the black soap. This stuff looks hideous, smells horrible. And I got some fade cream. So I'm gonna give this a shot, all right? And see what happens with my um, my face. Hopefully I don't have a, a light skin face <laughs> and a brown body, cause that'd be bad. That'd be bad. That means I overdid it. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna try this out, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, I tried everything once. If it works, cool. But um, what I really wanted to say was thank you to Red Feather Gotti for um, suggesting making that suggestion to me. Like I said, I'm gonna go try it out. Hopefully this works. If it works for your husband, I'm quite sure it works for a lot of other people. So hey, it should work for me too, right? All right, so take a good look. A good look, you know what I'm saying? People can say what they want, it's whatever. I mean, I live with it forever, so people really care about feelings. You know how people be trying to clown you all, oh, man, look at your face, blah blah blah. You know, it's like, okay, I looked at my face for damn near, you know, all these years, and you're not telling me nothing I don't know, all right? So, we're gonna work on it, all right? We're gonna work on it, we're gonna see what comes about. This whole procedure. So once again, appreciate you, Ray Feather Gotti. I, hey, you know how we do. We know how we go. Right. So till then, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, wash my face, and go to work. So y'all be easy, and I'll holler y'all later. Deuces.